Hey, hello everybody, this is Jody Young, Prime Basin Diesel. I just washed off the 685 horse Series 60 Genset engine. And, uh, getting her all cleaned up. You gotta wash off the crankshaft and everything. So it's pretty clean from up here. A little blow dryer and latch on to her with the backhoe again. And away we go, man. Well, everybody, uh, Jody, yeah, I'm going to place the diesel. Got my main bearings put in at the bottom of the Series 60. Good look at the crankshaft. Already got all the Cosmoline off of it. Gonna get ready to install it down in the block. And then, these are where my oil jets go right here. Yeah, you really, yeah, I hear these holes right here where oil jet goes. I oh, got the crankshaft installed in the engine, and uh, she rolls pretty good. There's a lot of weight in there, though. It's got to stand it up on its end. I need to put the flywheel housing on. And, uh, go from there. Yeah, I got my cylinder kits installed, and then uh, right now I'm getting ready to. I got to put my oil jets in right now. I'm fixing to do that right now. And uh, got the bottom end together. Looks pretty good so far. Okay, at this point in the game, I got my flywheel housing on there. It's got to put the rear seal in it. Got my silver kits installed. Got the oil cooler on there. Head gaskets on there. Silver kits are in. Put the front gear cases on. Covers on there temporarily. And then. And I got the cylinder head ready to go on. And this is going to save 3,007 inch, so I gotta take care of that too. Well, at this stage, I'm torquing all 38 head bolt specs. Man, I'm here to tell you, those things will wear you out too, man. And I gotta install thermostat seals, exhaust, intake, pull the front cover off, install the pull gear in there. But my head's been shaped 3,007 inch, so I gotta fix the outer gear to where that matches up. Of course, it's all the ECM, <coughs> fuel pump drive, cover plate, intake manifold, starter, all electronics for that. Uh, install the rear main crankshaft oil seal sleeve. The oil cooler group is on. Uh, I put the block heater on here. New message from Jake Wells. Uh, man, that's got a long way to go, man. Okay, I've got the cylinder head bolted down. I've got a six pack of N3 injectors. I already got the O-rings on them. It also has the, the seal at the bottom of the tip where it goes down and meets the bottom of the tube because the tube is flat on a D-Dick 5 head. And, uh, one of the other things I wanted to show you. So we already got our injector O-rings, but you have to buy this injector O-ring kit. It's already got the O-rings in it and all the hardware that you need. But uh, in all reality, all we need is a daggum bolt and that special concave washer. It's oval on one side. And uh, that's the part number of it right there. You know, we don't need the O-rings. They're already on the injector. And then uh, I got my crabs are cleaned up, all six of them. Get a better view of it. it just slides down in here and holds it in place like this. And holds it in the cylinder head. But, like I said, you know, we don't need these O-rings, they're already on there, so just put those in your stash. You might need them for later. So I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and install the crabs and the bolts, oil them up, torque them down the specs. Go from there. Okay, I'm uh, having to change my button kits out. Got a lot of wear on here with the stem contacts. My buttons. You can see how that wear is in place. There's just hammers on that stem. Uh, got to change all of them. Also, you can feel it's a real rough. It's got a flat spot in it. I can feel a flat spot right there. 
side. It's supposed to be smooth to the touch. That's got a rough spot in too. But I think that's real bad. But you see the wear that's in there. So the stem has just been hammering on it. And here I've already got my injectors in place, camshafts in there. Rocker arms on. Leave my high performance valve cover on here. Like that. Well, I ran into a problem. Uh, both rocker arm assemblies had the same problem. My center injector rocker arm is galled enough to the shaft. I don't know if you can see those marks or not. Yeah, see them right there? Had to fade it off the shaft and look down in there. See where it's spotted, where it's trying to go. And I checked the other rocker arm assembly in the same rod, man. So I gotta make a decision whether or not I'm gonna change just the shaft and the rocker arm on both, the injector rocker arm on both sets, or I'm just gonna replace the whole top end. Okay, I got the other shaft core down. This galling right here. Starting to pit pretty good right there. And then also the same thing with my rocker, my rocker arm at the bottom of it, the board. You see it right over at the end. And it needs to be replaced. There's the Series 60. We uh, installed the starter. Man, we we uh, we did a lot of progress yesterday. We didn't get to really shut down and take any videos for you, but we still got a long way to go, too. Turbo's on there. But, uh, yeah, we still got a long way to go. We gotta bring the generator skid in that sits on. Looks pretty cool so far. Like a Series 60.
Thank you.